All right, hello everybody. Um, ah, I should, I should shave. I'll be right back. That's better, that's better. Okay, howdy, hello, welcome. Let's open a few more packages. This one has hearts all over it. It's just a very lovey-dovey package. I'm intrigued. Who knows what could have been in there. Got some art. That looks really cool. Mm hmm. Oh, another, another art. This looks like watercolor. Very awesome. I like how it's cut out like that. I love the drip, the dribbliness of the watercolor. Mm hmm. There's more stuff. What is this? This is slug. There's like a little, there's a little felt bag with nothing in it. Jingle bells. Hold on, hold on. What is this? Is this some sort of underwear? Wait a second. Is my head supposed to fit through this? Oh, it is stretchy. That's crazy. All right, then we have this little box from Alien Moe. AlienMoe.StoreEnvy.com. Love your work. Heart, heart, heart. Instagram at Alien Mo. Moe. Let's see what we've got here. I'll put a link in the description for sure. What could be in these tiny boxes? Aww. This is amazing. I have fat, I have fat knuckles. That's the problem. That's pretty dope right there. Mm -hmm. There's tons of little tiny details on there. This box is bigger, maybe better. What? This one has some heft to it and it is super duper creepy. Do you see this? Its mouth goes into the eye of the other one. This one's a, how do you say that word? Brooch? 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 All right, there we go. Yep. All right, so just like that, I'm all swagged up. Swagged up and out. All over. Just everywhere. It's a good feeling. All right, and next is from my friend, uh, Opalski, Opal, Opal Sky. So we've got here. Got a drawing of me back when my hair was uh, longer and lusciouser. I actually saw her post this one on Instagram. I never expected to own the original. So thank you very much, Opal. That's great. Then we have um, this thing. Oh, is this a sketchbook? A round sketchbook? Guys. Now there's a thought. Hmm. I'm daydreaming about it already. About all the round things I could draw in here. The cover is very ornately decorated. Well, oh, thank you very much. And then inside we have, it looks like, I'm guessing these are watercolor paints. But I don't know for sure. It's all in Russian. I don't know how to read this. It probably says, no, it probably says Studio Watercolors 24 pack. We might just we might just have to use these uh, right now or after I take a nap. Don't underestimate the value of naps, even if they're all night long. And then here in the bottom, fear not my friends, that's not all. Here in the bottom, we have Starburst candies. And I just got fillings. So I'm gonna have to re-get fillings because these are like the nemesis of all dental work, aren't they? they they're the reason you have to get dental work to start out with, and then they're the reason you have to get your, your dental work put back in, whether your fillings or crowns or you, you ha these have these make you have to get your wisdom teeth put back in. So, oh, they're making a heart shape. Thank you, Opal. Oh, thank you, Opal Sky and Alien Moe. Let's let's do a painting with the watercolors. Not every piece of art you draw will be completely and utterly all altogether satisfying to you. Sometimes it'll not be satisfying for 90% of the process and only at the end 
Will it come together and be satisfying as you push through with perseverance? Perseverance is a is a is a good trait to pr- produce to to not produce, but to accomplish. Not no. Um, anyways, I don't have whatever whatever trait that is gives you good word choice. I don't have that, but it's good to have perseverance. Um, but even sometimes, even at the end of a drawing, you won't like it. But a lot, a lot of the drawings you make are just drawings that are helping you uh, move forward on your artistic journey. You know, just steps forward. Maybe, you, like, think of it as hiking, and you're just taking steps forward. And sometimes in hiking, you take, you stumble a little bit as, you know, the, the, the footing is a little bit uneven, and the rocks are a little bit crumbly, and you, you step, and sometimes your steps are a little bit sideways, and sometimes you take a little step a little bit backwards, uh, you know, just to regain your footing and not fall over. Um, but even if you take a step backwards, um, you're not down at the bottom of the mountain again. That's fine. You can, and sometimes you, you take a little, you know, walk a few steps around this way, the side of the mountain, or a few steps around that way, and then you come back this way and go up the trail. You know, you're finding the best way. You're exploring. Sometimes you do a bunch of drawings, or you're just exploring. You're seeing which way you want to go. And uh, the art is like a mountain without, like, a trail up it yet. In fact, it's like a mountain, uh, like, without a top, actually. So you don't really know which way to go to get to the top. You're trying to get to a, to a ma- you're trying to get to the top of a mountain without a top. So, uh, wow, well, my my metaphor fell apart as I was telling it. Anyways, don't don't be discouraged if you feel a little bit aimless and lost with your art. Sometimes just keep making it, and and know that uh, you, you are making progress even if you don't feel like it. The only times you're not making progress with your art is when you're not actually making anything. That's, I know that for sure. Anyways, these these paints were pretty fun. I had a good time with it. I did the little thing where I scribble, I sloshed about a bunch of paints onto the paper and then outlined it. But this time, I did something I don't know if I had done before, but after I had um, put down the lines on the paper, I went back and sloshed about a bit a bit more paint. And then added some more lines, and then maybe a bit more paint. Um, the sky was fun to do. I don't know about this weird green giant man. I can't tell if he's a robot or some sort of organic thing. And then there's, at some point, there's some, some other stuff going on. I have no idea what's going on, but... Anyways, anyways. I don't really want to... Sometimes I don't feel like talking about the painting. I mean, my drawing, my art too much, because I like people to... Like what I think it is, what's going on there, because I like people to come up with their own ideas of what it is. My 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 own ideas of what I draw half the time are a bit unformed. I don't know if that's good or bad. So I, I like creating it more than actually thinking about it or looking at it too much. I'm not sure, but I really. I really hate also not being able to think of things to say for these video commentaries since the world is its so full and rich and full of things to talk about, not all of which are things I necessarily want to talk about for these videos. And also, my brain, um, for many other times of the day, is also full and spinning, uh, full of things to talk about, things I want to talk about for videos. Um, but then I sit down here in front of the mic and I just, I just pull this fantastic blank, just like this weird kind of impromptu stage fright. Uh, I mean, there's no one else here, I guess, but, uh, but here you all are. And then sometimes (laughs) most of you are every now and then there's these, a couple of comments filtered through from people who, who I guess aren't aren't fans stumble upon these videos and they say, I wish this guy would just shut up. He just talks about nothing the whole time, which I indeed kind of am talking about nothing. And of course I like doing that, but I don't, I, I just imagine these people sitting through a whole video, listening to me ramble on about nothing, just, just 
gradually getting more and more angry the whole time as they slowly get closer and closer to the end of the video as they real and and they say in their in their comment he sh he should have just put music on and I, and I just I just see them get angry as they realized towards the end of the video that they could have just muted me the whole time and put their own music on or something anyways I guess I found something to talk about anyways you're all, you're all awesome one day, one day, one day, my dear friends, I will learn how to take notes, either with a real notepad or with a little notepad app on my phone or something. But, but I still have that problem, kind of like my dreams that I wake up with. I have that little problem where I wake up with crazy ideas in my head and they're, when, I, when they're in my head, they're so amazing. I know I'll remember them and think of them when I sit down and record a commentary. I'll never forget them. But then here I am sitting here forgetting everything. My mind is totally blank right now. So, anyways, hope you all have a, a beautiful day. I love all of you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.